Good day, guys. Good day to you all. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. The support, as always, is much appreciated. We're talking the Wonder Boy out of the Phoenix Academy and also KC setup. Dojan Whisper Richards. See him? Now, this is something that I have. This particular take that I'm about to give is something that I have realized for quite some time. It is not something that is new to me or something that I would recently have occurred to me, would recently have occurred to me. This is something that, you know, has occurred to me for quite some time now. And, you know, as always, I appreciate your comments, both those who agree and those who disagree. So hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you guys think about what I am about to say. Seeing, so the banner at the end of the screen, biggest issue, whisper faces. Seeing, and in the background, you see whisper Richard set for Newcastle trial. See him? So the news is out there. Many people have been made aware. Credible sources have indicated that whisper is you know going to europe to do trials basically and that was the plan for quite some time as indicated publicly by people who are in the dujan whisperers camp that you know in this quote unquote final year before the big year when he goes pro you know he would be taken to europe and he would undergo a number of trials you know, and clubs will get a chance to look at him and, you know, I guess take it from there in terms of potential suitors. See, all of that is all well and good and, you know, I'm happy to hear that and, you know, it's good news. See, and I don't want to be negative, but it is something that bothers me so much. It bothers me so much. May have to talk about it, and it's an issue that I think is even bigger than a whisper. Seeing, I have to talk about it. It's, it's something that I would have seen with the likes of a Tyreek Ziminis. It is something I'm seeing now with the boy Cohen at Veer United. Seeing, and other talents past or in the past, previous to this generation, and future talents to come seen and basically when i speak on the biggest issue that whisper faces is that i am of the opinion that dujan whisper richards was ready for the professional ranks since the age of 15. right that is the age when i first knew about this whisper you know, heard about him a little bit before I actually saw him, right? And then, you know, he went to England and played in those friendly games against those respective English clubs. We saw clips of, you know, the performances, clips of some of the goals he was scoring, you know, information emerged about, you know, the respective trials. We also saw video footage of some of the matches, the full matches that Whisper would have played and you said to yourself, boy, if this young man at 15 years old can look so impressive, you know, what, what does the future hold for this young man? It was clear to me at that particular point in time that Dujan Whisper Richards was ready for the professional ranks at 15 years old. Now, here is the quote-unquote big issue that whisper faces and we spoke about it or we have spoken about it on the channel previously even with whispers father you know who would have come on to the platform one time and you know was kind enough to, to speak to us and answer some questions on the topic of dujan whisper richards the mere fact that he was ready for the pro ranks at 15 and he will only make that move or he will get to make that move at 18 
is a huge issue for Whisper. Why? No matter how good Dujan Whisper Richards becomes, which I have no doubt he will become a good player. If I were a betting man, Dujan Whisper Richards will become a good player and he will cut it at a high level in world football. But no matter how good Dujan Whisper Richards becomes, the question in my mind will always be, could Dujan Richards have become a, an even better player had he made that jump to the pro ranks when he initially was ready to make that move to the professional ranks? Could he have become an even better, if an even better player? If he goes on to grace the biggest stages, such as the English Premier League, right? He's a forward. He scores a he has a career where he scores a hundred goals in the English Premier League. See? The question will always be in my mind. Had he made that jump to the professional ranks at 15 when I believe he was ready to do so, could he have been an even better player? Could he have, instead of scoring the 100 goals in the EPL, could he have scored 200? If he scores, if he has a career where he scores 200 goals in the EPL, could he have been even better? Could it have been 300 goals in the EPL? No matter how good he becomes, that will always be in the back of my mind as to how much better could this boy have become. I, I said the same thing for Leon. Genk wanted to sign Leon Bailey at 15. Now we are looking and we see Bailey in the Premier League and we say, you know, good baller, has his ups and his downs. But, you know, when Bailey is firing off all cylinders, he's a very difficult player to stop. I look at Bailey and I say, he made the jump to sign for Genk at 18. They wanted to sign him from the age of 15. Could that three-year window have made Bailey into an even better player than what he is today? Seeing from my understanding of how things operate, you know, reading and just watching football and being exposed to football ever since a tender age, Whenever players are ready to make the move to the next level, young players, when they reach that level where, or when they reach that level of performance where they're, they, are, they have shown that they are ready to make that move to the next level. Seeing incredible footballing jurisdictions, they usually make that move to the next level as soon as possible and as soon as the player is the young player is ready let's say for instance a boy is in the under 16s the u16s as soon as him conquer that level the individuals who are responsible for him at his club say this young man is ready now for the u18s they don't wait a year right let's say he's he's 14 right are 15 and does well in the in the U16s. They don't wait a year or two to move him up to the U18s. No, as soon as he is ready, they make that jump to the next level. Whisper has been at the same level or at a similar level for the past, I would say probably a year and a half. And that for me is a major, major issue. And that for me, I, I, won't, I won't go as far as say his development has been stalled because I don't think when you're this age of development, I don't think can completely stall. But in my humble opinion, the growth trajectory that Whisper would have been on had he made that move to the next level when he has, when he indicated that he was ready for that next level, would be a far higher growth trajectory. He would be a better player now if he had traversed that path rather, you know, going into a professional setup than 
quote unquote, staying at the Phoenix Academy, staying at the same level. The Phoenix Academy, in my humble opinion, they can only develop you so far and no more. When Phoenix, when the Phoenix Academy develops you and takes you to a professional level, they can only take you so far and no more. They cannot take you any further because it's not a professional setting. It's not a setting for professionals. If you understand the point that I'm trying to make, seeing the Phoenix Academy can only take you so far and no further. In my humble opinion, and, and by the way, so the last year and a half, the growth has not been what it would be had he been in a different setup, a professional setup, and that will be the same for the next year or so. So basically, it would be about two and a half years, probably three, that Wispa has been ready for the professional ranks and would not have been able to have made that move. I remember when I had um, Richie on the show, Whisper's father, seen on the channel and we were talking to him, asking him some questions. And he alluded to an opportunity that arose in Mexico, right? Because you know the whole rule of him not being able, to, or non-EU players not being able to sign under the age of 18, professionally in the European Union. So we were saying, you know, there are other confederations where football is played, you know, opportunities can be pursued there. And he was speaking about an, an opportunity that arose in Mexico. See, and he stated the reasons why the opportunity was not pursued. While I understand the reasons, if those are the sole reasons and there are not more reasons or greater reasons why that opportunity was not pursued. In my humble opinion, I think that would have been a mistake not to have pursued those opportunities. I understand why, right? And it's a fear excuse, so to speak, as to why that opportunity was not pursued. Me personally, I respectfully disagree though. I think, in my humble opinion, given what I know, what I was told about that situation, on the face of it, that would appear to me to be a mistake. Seeing trials in Europe for European clubs over the next year before we call Whisper turned, Whisper turned 17, if I'm not mistaken, either in October or November. I can't remember which month off the top of my head. Seen, but in late last year, seen. So um, not exactly a full year to go before he's eligible, but almost a year, seen. Now, trials over that time period to expose him to Europe and European clubs will help him, will develop him, yes, true, but it, in my humble opinion, given what I have heard about, you know, trials and you know how it operates and that sort of a thing you know just from watching football from a tender age while it will help him and it will him improve him right i still don't think it would have a similar effect to that of him being in a professional environment full time so the trials will be good the trials will help him but i still think had he made that jump to the professional ranks let's say if he signed tomorrow for a professional club that would have a much better impact on his development rather than a number of trials at different clubs because the earlier you are exposed to top-notch development and as soon as you make that jump to the quote-unquote next level whatever level you are at it only 
aids your development. That's just a fact. It only aids your development and makes you a better player when less time is wasted making that jump to the next level, whichever level you might be. It's not a coincidence that Leon Bailey is the best talent this country has produced and he was one of the youngest Jamaican born players to be exposed to European football, making trips to Europe since the age of 12, 13. Seeing, hit me up in the comment section, let me know what you think. Knock up the like button, subscribe and share. Take care, stay safe, guys. We we'll wish Dujan Whisper Richards all the best, right? Take care.